I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will understand basic concepts about annuities. The question here is how to draw a timeline and then calculate the future value of annuity. I have also provided you with the formula for future value. Future value equals to regular payments R and within brackets you write 1 plus interest to the power of n minus 1 divided by I. Now we'll understand all these parameters also in this particular video. My suggestion is that in this series of annuities, I'll have around 10 questions. To understand any topic, you should do at least 10 questions to get the concepts. Let's begin with timeline. So we say how to draw a timeline and then calculate future value of annuity. So let me take some values. Let us say that we regularly deposit so r is regular payments which you do at a fixed interval of time so annuity is basically a series of payments or investments which are made at regular interval of time so let me write on this term also so when you say annuities it means what it means series of regular payment that is what it means we say payments or we also say deposits or deposits right so that is what we do series of regular payments right so whenever you make series of regular payments we'll use the variable r for it and in our case let us take uh, r as let's say 500 dollars right so we have taken 500 dollars and we need to deposit in some account which gives us some compound interest right so because we want money to whatever money is invested to grow right so that is kind of important so whenever you have compound interest it is compounded annually so let us say account has interest rate so we say rate of interest so i'll use the term r small r this r is rate of interest so let us say we have rate of interest of we are doing we'll do semi-annually so i'll divide by two so let me take a number which is kind of even right so let's say four percent four percent per annum per year compounded yearly so it is compound interest yearly is per annum so we have uh, rate of interest which is being compounded will take semi-annually for example semi-annually so so what we will do here is we'll make regular payments semi-annually the way we are developing this question is also the way to understand the whole concept so uh, so bear with me for some time okay so what we are trying to say here is we are trying to think what an annuity is it is a series of regular payments and we have taken up an example where we are taking up a simple ordinary and ordinary annuity so when you say simple ordinary annuity that means the payments which we do and the interest which we get both are same so that's why we made both of them semi-annually right so i hope you're getting the concept so we're working with simple ordinary annuities where payment made the regular interval for payments made coincides with the compounding period right so that's the whole idea okay so we have taken this and uh, let's me we'll make a timeline for let's say total time of three years three years so we are saying n we are writing capital n here this is total time period of three years so so in this i'll take up an example where we are regularly depositing 500 dollars semi-annually into an account which pays at the interest rate of four percent per annum and this will be compounded semi-annually we want to find the future value 
of this deposit after three years this is this is what we have okay now to understand let me make a timeline and then we'll go from there okay so let's say let, let me make it here so timeline suggests or shows you a picture of what is going on here right so let's say this is uh, we normally say starting point zero I'll take the starting point as 1st January. Let me take this as 1st January, okay? Uh, 20, let us say 70, okay? Now, semi-annually means what? Now, semi-annually means that in one year, let's say this is one year, in one year, deposited me twice. Since we are taking three years, so this is one year, this is the second year, and the that's the end of third year. So that becomes end of... 2017 so I'll write this as uh, 31st December okay and the year will be 2017 so end of the first year and this will be December I'm not writing 2018 and this will be so this is end of first year end of second year end of third year so 2019 and all these are 31st December okay and in between after every six months also we are paying in so that is semi annually so twice in a year right so 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 january is the first month then we have uh, february second march april may june so this will be end of june which is 30th june okay so every 30th june you deposit you're getting the idea right so every 30th June you deposit and every 31st December you deposit that's what we mean when we say end of six months so the period is semi annually right so in this case we are depositing five hundred dollars not now we are depositing on 30th of June so that is semi annually at the end of six months right so every every six months you deposit five deposit five hundred dollars this is what is shown on this timeline correct so that is the deposit which we have made and i've shown you actual dates you know it is very confusing at times so i'm just spelling that out for you so when we say semi-annually twice in a year and that too at the end of the period right so at the end of six months not now that is important this is at the end of the whole series of NUT payments, right? Okay, now that's the idea. Now, if we are getting a compound interest of 4% per annum, then what is the interest during six month period? It will be half of this, right? That is the I value, do you understand now? So I basically is, is the actually, the interest being paid in the compounding period. So we'll actually calculate what happens for compounding period. So, which is six months for us, right? Not one year. This is per annum, rate of interest per annum. So I actually is not per annum. In our case, it is semi-annual. So, so it has to be divided by two. So 4% really means 0 0.04. When you divide this by 100, this is what you get and you divide by 2 semi-annually. Do you understand? That is the value of i. And the small n is the number of compounding periods. So in three years, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That is 3 times 2. So that gives you 6, right? Therefore, I wrote capital N, total number of years. And this is compounding period. 6 times in that 3 years, the compound interest was calculated. Right, so I hope that part is also clear. So now you understand that R is 500, it remains same, so I'm not rewriting. But this value of I and N, it depends on compounding period, okay? Now, timeline, let's see what happens to this amount. Well, this amount of 500 has been sitting there and it has been compound interest by one, two, three, four, five times. Do you see that? So, so let me draw it like this showing it at the end so that our lines don't 
overlap right so it is 500 is the initial amount and compound interest you are experts with by now so the interest rate is okay let me write this as 0 0.02 okay so it is 1 plus 0 0.02 and for how many times 1 2 3 4 5 5 times right so that is what you get five times similarly if i am looking into this investment so this investment had been compounded four times so i'll write this as 500 uh, 1 plus 0 0.02 to the power of 4 and this has been compounded 1 2 3 times so you get 500 1.02 let me write 1.02 okay to the power of 3 i'm just adding this up now okay now this gets to 500 1.02 twice one period second period this once right 500 1.02 to the power of 1 no need to write and this has just been placed so you get just 500 dollars back so whatever you put on 31st of december you get the same amount right so the future value is sum of all this right mm -hmm. sum of all this gives you the future value you understand so that is the value of whatever you placed final amount which you are going to get so if you add all this you get your answer right now adding all this is same as applying the formula now how does that relate you can see it is a geometric series so let me show you the relation here geometric series which has a value so it is a geometric I mean it is a series I want to write okay which is geometric in nature okay where a is the first term is 500 r by which you are multiplying each time is 1.02 that is 1 plus i do you see that 1.02 and n is the number of times you do it so so it is six number of times n is equal to six right one two this is to the power of zero right so there are six terms in this one two three four five six starting with 500 and that gives you this formula is it okay so it's a straight geometric series formula so we'll use instead of adding this up which you can also do we'll apply the formula add all these together okay so we can say future value is equals to 500 you can add this 500 plus 500 times 1.02 plus 500 times 1.02 to the power of 2 plus 500 times 1.02 to the power of 3 plus 500 1.02 to the power of 4 plus 500 times 1.02 to the power of 5 you add these six terms and you get your answer second way is you just apply the formula and you get your answer so you can say uh, so you can compute the two answers future value is 500 times 1 plus i so let me write 1 plus i is 0 0.02 to the power of n which is 6 minus 1 divided by the interest which is 0 0.02 0 0.02 right so you could use this formula and then calculate so i'll leave these calculations for you you can always do it but i'll show you the formula one uh, right here so i'll do 500 uh, and then within brackets i can write this as i'll use two brackets so inside bracket is 1.02 to the power of 6 and then we'll take away one bracket close right and then we'll divide this by 0 0.02 to get our answer which is 314 3154.06 so we get 3154.06 always round them to cents right so we're talking about dollars so round them to cents so if you deposit this much of amount you get three thousand 
$154.06 at the end of six years, right? Now, well, how much did you deposit? You deposited one, two, three, four, five, six times five, which is 500 into six, $3,000, right? So as you can see, we already shown this. Let me just extend this question. So if the question is to find interest earn, how do you find that? Interest will be, you get this much amount back, 3154.06, and how much did you deposit? One, two, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, right? If you take away 3,000, you get $154.06 as your interest on this annuity in three years when you're depositing $500 semi-annually right so i think this gives you a complete picture of what we are going to do now we'll take up some questions we will going to change compounding period sometimes we'll take it uh, weekly that is 52 weeks in a year we could take quarterly four quarters in a year right so uh, those are the different variations in the formula we can sometimes find r if you know the future value and we'll also see examples where we need to find the interest rate. Uh, that will be tough, but anyway. And some way we need to find the time period we should be depositing these amounts so that we get what we want, right? So these are different kinds of variations. We'll have about 10 questions on that. I'm Anil Kumar. You can share and subscribe my videos. And the only way to get this is just practice. Thank you and all the best.